Hi, banana. <laughs> banana man. Uh, can you comp 2695 Miriam Lane? Okay. Seller wants 150K. Kitchen bathroom have not been updated. Yeah, absolutely. Now, remember, when you guys are putting in these properties to comp, it is really important for you to tell a story. Let us know what their motivation is, right? Like, why do they want to sell it? What is their, what is going on here? Um, let's take a look. Okay, right off the bat, this is great. I, I, I love this. this is a great property. Look at this. Owned for 26, almost 27 years. Fantastic. When we look at this thing, it is 1,000 square feet. It's a three bed, two bath, which is fantastic. It's not a one bath. So there's not any major, you know, uh, hits that you're going to take on value because it's just one bath. Uh, it looks somewhat clean. It looks like it's probably somebody older that, that uh, owns this property uh, because of the ramp here that you see. It's probably somebody that needs to be wheeled up there. Um, so it's probably an older person's house. Well, they've owned it for 26 years. So obviously it's an older person's house, but these are the things that you read between the lines when you have prop stream to pull all this up. Now, what I'd like to do obviously is go comparables and I like going to this neighbor's button guys. This is the top feature for comping that, that prop stream has. I am telling you because what an appraiser looks at, you got to look down the line, right? You got to see, okay, wait a second. You know, when somebody buys this, when this property is either fixed up or if it's in rental condition and somebody wants to refi or buy that with a conventional loan, an appraiser is going to come in. An appraiser is going to look in the neighborhood first. All right. So we're in the neighborhood. He said that the house is in probate. It's a probate. Okay, got it. Look at that. Okay, good. This is interesting. Look at this property. That This is probably what's throwing them off. You've got these interesting properties here. Uh, you're a thousand square feet. Obviously you want to kind of be around that. They want 150. I think this is yeah. going to be a deal. See what's happening here. Look at this 1200 at 245. closed at the beginning of the year 14. I'm interested in seeing what's going on here. Uh, this one's wild. This one, I don't know what's going on. This might be a package deal, but it's on the same street. You're in the same street here. Uh, Miriam at 408. Um, this could be, okay. This is, this is a bulk package deal. All right. So, and this is great that this, we just hit this. So whenever you see this, right, whenever you see this, this big amount that just pops out of nowhere, but the property looks kind of just basic and there's not an MLS listing on it, that means it was purchased as a package. And you can see, look at the, look at the estimate. Look at this. You think they own some property? So listen, when people own multiple they own 822 properties, these people. 800, yeah, yeah, 822 properties here that they own. So when you see something like this pop up um, that shows 408, this is, they're recording that for probably two or three properties that they purchased. It's just in the same purchase. All right, so don't use this as a comp. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make sense. So let's go down the line here. Got another twelve fifty seven. It's a little bit bigger. Same size lot, same time built, and this went for two forty. Let's see how. The, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is nice. The curtains not, eh. but this is nice. Look at that. That's a wild granite, I'm telling you. Listen, if you're flipping houses, don't do wild granite like this. It really makes people angry. <laughs> it really does. That's the first thing they want to change. Keep it very, very, very clean. Uh, I know it's a fun it's a fun feature, and I know it's creative and beautiful, and look at God's creation on this beautiful slab of, of, of stone, but don't do this. Don't do this. Anyway, moving on. Um, you got some interesting thing. They opened this house up. I think that this house originally was probably similar size to ours and they might've opened up either a covered patio or something going on. Whenever you have foundation stuff here, whenever you have a pole in the middle of a house, it just makes it awkward. It's just an awkward deal, but this is top, top shelf. It's very nice. 240,000. So, I mean, what do you think, Mike? 240. Um, that closed that just closed in, oh, that's February. Yeah. I would hit this thing. I think ours is going to be 240, 250. Um, it's a, it's smaller. Um, but I think that you can have a more traditional floor plan and the market's just hotter right now. 
Um, so I would say 240, 250. Let's break it down real quick here. ARV equals, let's just go 250, just because I think that the market's very, very strong. And um, 250 off the bat, we're going to, because it's above 200,000, we're going to times this by 0.84, right? 10% is the profit for the investor minimum and then six percent is closing costs if you have questions about that put it in the comments all right now subtract now this is a thousand square feet it looks like it's been owned for 30 years this is going to have to need a significant updating and like like he said no kitchen no bathrooms put up that sheet again it's under 1,500 square feet. It's going to be middle of the road. Let's go 25K on this, okay? He also said that he, sold, um, he also saw a house sell for 295 In the neighborhood? Yes. Let's take a look. Oh, right here. It's 1,500 square feet. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, 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 I assume it's this one, Miriam, on the same street. 1,500 square feet. So, the, oh, I mean, this is... This is probably a 50, 60 K rehab uh, and it's 500 square foot. I, I still think you're at 250 decked out. And if you want to, if you want to match this, um, you're probably a 40 K rehab as opposed to 25 K rehab. This is a significant rehab, but you could pull more out. Um, but we, we've only got a thousand square feet. This one has 1500. Yeah. I was just trying to get a close to that uh, plus or minus 15% uh, square footage that an appraiser is going to use first. Um, and it was still a little bit off ours at 1,200 square feet. The comp was a little bit high, but it was close. So if you want to get it that nice, let's put that 40K in here. Uh, let's split the difference. Let's go 30,000 for repairs. Where are we at here, Mike? Buck 80. 180,000? Yeah. 180,000. Now, obviously this will affect, so you're gonna to wanna to know if there's any major things that need to be repaired and then add 5K for every major thing, whether it be a roof, electrical, plumbing, you know, whatever other issues there are. Um, but at 180, if you get this thing, you better lock it up at 150. You better lock that up. I think it's a third, I would, I would make 30K in that deal, no doubt about it, with our buyer base. Um, so push it out, that's what I would push it out. If it uh, if third if you feel thirty uh, is reasonable if you feel like you have to go forty because it's so dated and you have to really get in there but it's only a thousand square feet so thirty will, will will get you pretty far but if you have to go forty uh, then you're at one seventy there either way you're a twenty thirty k deal I like that that's a good deal that is a good deal I like that if you like that video hit that subscribe button we come out with new videos every single day and if you want your questions answered like you and I one-on-one -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday I will see you there